Hey guys, what's up? Reborn Gaming here. Today, this is going to be a new career mode on my channel. And it's going to be the last ever career mode for FIFA 21, not for FIFA 20. So it's a team I've never used before in a career mode. Paderborn. Let's go for the most expensive trophy. I've never actually used Paderborn before. I know who they have in their team because I've been doing the Paderborn SBC which cost about 50k on Ultimate Team but and I've seen them play but I've never actually used them. So this is their lineup that they think I want to use. Antwi Ajeji, Srebeni and Progel. I know I'm not saying any of these names correct, but then we have Vasil Adias, Zoylinski and Gasula. Then we have Collins, Sean, Sean Lu, Jans, Strojaik and Zinnerly. Oh, they've got you fucking their team. <laughs> they've got a wee English guy in their team, I know. So they've got some good high quality young players like this guy. Wait, so what rating? What age is he? 25? I want to see if this guy can get past 72 rating. If he can, then he'll be my starter for next season. Like, Mikel will have him playing just because he's a higher rated. I was thinking of bringing in as much signings as I can. But I'm only on 4 mil, so... I oh, just shortlist everyone, doesn't it actually mean I'm gonna sell them all. But I need a better goalkeeper, this guy's 71 rated. Loan him. Oh, he's six. Wait. So he's our starting centre back. Well, Killian, if he gets to 70 rating this season, we can keep him as our starter. Laurent Jans is from Luxembourg. I don't even know where that is. Ufuk. I thought Ufuk played for Schalke. But we have fatty, <laughs> we have fatty you fuck. So we have Fatty Youthuk. I don't know whether I should keep him in the team just because he has a funny name. Felix Drinker. Why do Germans have weird names? Capich.
this guy used to be a free agent, so an ultimate an ultimate team. This guy goes for about fifteen k. <laughs> Anthony Evans. I'm sure he used to play for like Bournemouth or Everton or something. Prozier. We'll bring him back. Snarby can go back to Watford. That guy's Italian. Stanford Bridge. Tony Marshall, he scored again, he fucked it up and he scored again. He fucked it up and he scores again. Tony Marshall, he scores again. One, we had one person watching, that was probably Gaz. Oh. Shot lost an S vein. He's a fucking brilliant player. So two players I want to bring in. Mikhail Cousins and uh, S. Vine. I know S Vine is old, but he's 29 years that old. He could help me for the first season to try and not get relegated. Because the board want me to avoid relegation. Even if I avoid by... Even if... Augsburg were in the relegation zone and I beat them by one goal difference then I could still possibly be at the relegation zone so they want me to sign one player in the youth academy assigned to the defender position sign one youth academy to the senior team in the same season they were scouted play them in five matches either as part of our starting eleven or coming on as a sub. So we need to get some youth academy going. I'm only gonna do one because I can only afford the one right now. I want to try and send them to places I've never sent them before. But I think I've sent scouts to everywhere in this game. I've not sent any to the United States, let's send them now. Tony Marshall, he fucked it up. Da, 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 he fucked it up. Tony Marshall, he fucked it up. Da, 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 he fucked it up. UEFA Champions League, it'll be a long time till I get there. I don't like all this shit man that people are complaining they're not getting played. 
Wait, so... It's a red Mikel. What team's that? If you can give me three mil, you can take them. That's good. Now we need. <coughs> now we need a new striker. Cause Mikel is leaving for two million pound to the Romanian league, I think. Tyrese Campbell, he's a good striker, so I'm gonna bring him in once Mikel leaves. S. Vane can play as a strike, I'd rather have S. Vane play on the wing. S. Vane is a brilliant player. Last year in Ultimate Team he was a, a, although he's a silver card, last year in Ultimate Team he was a top goal scorer for me. Let's just give, let's just give them 1 million. 1.3, fuck it. We're getting 2.6 million for the sale of Mikel anyway, so we may as well just waste the rest of the money we've got. Because we'll be able to get it back. <coughs> That's how shit we are. We're getting beaten by an Austrian team I've never heard of. So, Genk want Christian Straha Deb. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I need to get some players' names. Who I can pronounce like this guy, Sven Mikel or Mitchell. That's easy to pronounce, but like Strodek, Strodek. <laughs> <coughs> well, I can sell him because Killian can be my starting centre back because he's about ten years younger and he's the same rating. So we'll just have Kelly in playing there. 23, 26. Fuck, I've got backup strikers. I, I could have used one of these as a main. Oh well. Tyrese Campbell, and then we'll have one of them as a backup. So all these young guys are gone out and loan. I'm not sending this guy out on loan because I want to see what rating he gets to when I train him because if he gets past 72 then he'll be to, he'll be my starting left mid and Antwi will be leaving <laughs> what a name Antwi See Nigerians and their weird names. <laughs> we keep losing. But the offer for Tyrese Campbell's came back. There we go.
and Mikhail sold. Oh. We're not selling him yet. Because I don't even know what centre backs are high rated. I remember, whose place do you think you're actually taking up? Make room for the new signing. Right, so Mamba, you can go in the reserves. <coughs> this guy's old, but he's nearly. I'm only going to use him for like cup games because he's old and he's still decently high rated for a team like this. This we did recently arrive for Huddersfield. Sabrini. Sounds like an Italian name. I'm just gonna call this guy Jast because I don't know how to pronounce that name. Like Jast is the first part of his last name, so I'm just gonna call him that. Right, so there's two English guys in this team now. The only way I'm gonna use Evans is if he goes out and loan to like an English team or whatever, and then he comes back and hopefully does well. And we scored two goals. We're a Hoffenheimer in relegation. I oh, fuck them, no shit. So let's train Killian, or Killian, whatever. Train Tyrese Campbell. Zoyalinski's a striker, why is he playing at centre mid then? We'll train Jast. I could either call him Dennis or Jast. Das, Jast Zem. Zemski, <laughs> what a name. Just Zemski. I need to remember that, I'm shite at remembering people's names. Oh, this guy's only 21. Mr. Freckle. But I, I seriously want to train Fatty, you fuck. <laughs> What fatties are you fucking? And why are you looking at me? <laughs> Let's train this wee dude for Greece. Uh, fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna train Evans. Just because I want to see if he can get up to like one or two million, then I can sell him for money. Oh, Jast Zimbrinski's already getting trained. Du, 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 du. Don't care about that. Uh, Campbell will hope to improve upon lacklustre debut. We're on three million. So now I can go out and buy a big scout. To buy a 5 star, 5 star, I need to wait till I get 3.6 mil. I'm on exactly 3 million, so I need to wait till I sell someone for like 600. Because it's common, English players coming. Like, English players coming to the. Bundesliga is now common, as you've seen with Jaden Sancho and Jude Bellingham. I'm gonna get a scout and send them out to England. So I've got 3.6 million, 3.5 million now. And then if I do this, 3.6. <laughs> so 
So now I can get the five star, five star and send them to England. It's just actually common now. Having Eng for that's having like English players join foreign leagues. Because there's an English player in the Colombian league called George Saunders. Who's a decent player. And then in this league we have the likes of Adamo, La Lukman, Sancho, Bellingham. So it is actually fine. We Leon Brugmeyer. We send him to Lingby. For 84 grand. At least that's 84 grand better in my pocket than it is anyone else's. Kansas want Collins. Kansas can fuck off, he's my starter. Fuck Collins has got a release clause on it to give him a new contract before. It's too late and someone buys them off me. But Evans is now 60 rated, which is actually decent. He looks like Daniel Radcliffe. Which is even better because I used to watch Harry Potter when I was younger. Massy wassy. <laughs> this guy's go. <coughs> this guy's from Canada and his name's Massy wassy. <laughs> Massey Bossy, what a name. <laughs> I'm gonna keep him just because, like, what's, what, what's with Canadians, Germans, and Nigerians with weird names? Fuck it, we'll sell them. Bye bye, Massey Bossy. <coughs> Wait, where's Massey Wassey? Where is he? Massey Wassey. Let's go to... Notifications. That's wrong. Where the fuck did I go back so I could see Massey Wassey again? Received offers. I'm just sending a picture of Marcy Wassy to my friend. <laughs> there we go. Massey Wassey's going to Portugal. <laughs> what the fuck, man? A lot of a lot of people have weird names. Oh, I couldn't have matched that if I tried. Fifty-five grand in the wages and in the transfer budget. I've literally got no money left until Massey Wassey leaves. <laughs> I'd rather wait till his release clause get bought because he's worth 1.3 million but if someone buys him with his release clause he's worth 3.1 So I'd rather wait till someone buys his release, like spends 3 million on his release clause because then I'm getting more But Killian goes up to a 70 rating, which qualifies him to be my starting centre-back now. 
So we've got Killian and Shauna Lou. That's a decent back four. Jans, Killian, Shauna Lou and Collins. That's decent for a team like this. Can Zolinski play centre mid? No, why the fuck's he there? Uh, <laughs> you can go in there. This guy's 70 rated and can play left back. So if we ever need a backup left back, we've got him. I'm putting him on the bench just because he could be a backup left back. Just in case Collins gets injured. But then we've got Antwi who could be a backup right mid or a backup cam. So if I, so I'm gonna change the formation to a cam formation. So like, so if this guy, if this guy gets injured, then we could push Antwi there. Then we could push Collins up to there. Then we could bring on Holtman. So that's how we could do it. I hope this team's capable enough to avoid relegation. Like, even if it's the same point as someone in relegation, but like we just avoid narrowly by goal difference. Wait, so the two teams in red go down, then the team in orange has to promote a relegation playoff. <laughs> oh, first game's against Bayer Leverkusen. Fuck that. For a carry on. Blocking offers for him because he's starting for me. I just want somebody to come in with a release clause for him because a team in Argentina tried to offer me one like 900k for him, but he's got a release clause of 3.1, so I'd rather someone like with enough money could come in and buy him. Who's this? It's our goalie. Wait. How much is Felix Muller? Because I could sell him. Wait, Felix Muller, mate, how much are you? Felix Muller. Sven Muller. Oh, it's Florian. He's got a release clause of 10 million, but I'm sure I'll be able to sign him for cheaper than 10 mil. If I can get him, then I can always get Martin's, like, Miles Vila. I think we're going to lose against Bayer Leverkusen. Oh, Marcy Wassi left. Bye. <laughs> So Charlton Athletic want Ben Zoylinski, which I'll sell him. Leopold, what a name. 
I'm gonna reject this offer just because I don't know how much Felix Muller is. But if I... I'm gonna shortlist Miles Vila, so if we can't get Miles... If we can't get Phil Muller, then I'll just try and go for Miles Vila instead. <coughs> Svila has a release clause of two million. Like he's worth two million pounds because I've used them in multiple career modes. We're not selling him. I want him to be one of my starting centre mids for this season. I'm blocking offers for other players I'm not selling. Fuck. Some person with a good amount of money could possibly buy him for 10 mil then I could get Felix Muller but the chances of that happening are slim. Because he is only 21, he's my starting centre mid plus he could possibly get higher rated within, like, within the season. Cagliari, St. Tony, Jansky for 7 mil. Decent. That's one less play we need to worry about when we, when we come up against uh, Gladbach now. Why does this guy wear a helmet? <laughs> what the hell, man? There's literally a guy in this team who wears a fucking helmet. Selling him to traps on your spore for nine hundred grand. There we go. Jack Zembrinski is nearly at is nearly at sixty eight rating. Bow 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 Fuck it, you know what? I'll sell him for two million and I'll go and get Miles Vila. Miles Vila is better, anyway. Zoyalinski sold to Charlton Athletic, that we did sold so much money are we on. 1.2 mil. Oh wait, depends how much Rio Griffiths is. I could possibly sign him and then swap one of the strikers. M bomb. Oh, I used I used this guy in Ultimate Team last year, and he was a fucking brilliant player. I just wanted to use him because he had a funny name, and at the time he was playing for Verda Bremen. He's playing for like, that team now, KFC. And I had a shitty German. I had a shit German team. And the amount of fucking. Goals M bomb scored for me. I'm surprised he didn't. I'm surprised he didn't get a fucking man of the match card. <laughs> this guy used to be English, but he's Nigerian. I'm just trying to list players who I think would join this. Who I think is realistic to join this team. Like, they've got a guy called Elvis Rebecca. <laughs> Wait, this guy's 23. He does not look 23. He looks like he's in his 60s or 70s. Nacho Monreal. Mate, you stole my first name. Give me it back. Uh, Enzo Leffy. 
Oh, Dario Maris at Trimgoni, seeing him, he was a decent. He was a good player to sign for career modes last year. Shot list him. I think I've got enough players on my shot list right now. His contract runs out at the end of the season, so I'll sign him on a pre deal. But Dario Marisic, last year when he played in the Danish, I think it was the Danish league he played in last year. No, it was the Austrian league because he's from Austria. He done well, but now he plays for Stad de Remis. But hopefully in season two, I'll be able to sign him. <coughs> Let's see if we can get Leo Griffiths. Let's swap him with one of the strikers we have. Fair fuck it, you know what? Swap. Do you want him? Why do you not want Adrian on your house? And <laughs> Mate, your phone's ringing, pick it up. Fuck it. Come on, accept that, would you? A full box. Six on the ground, okay. We're seeing him for that much. Bam, 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 bam. Because I've never used Paderborn before in a career mode. And because the state of their team, like, they're not like a very good team right now. It's gonna take me a while to get anywhere within like champ, like, title level. So it's gonna take me a while to get qualified for Europa League in Champions League but if I do get qualified this season then next season I need to fucking just buy everybody possible but I know I won't. I'm gonna play every game but I'm gonna sim the cup games if we even have any this season. Paderborn sign Leo Griffiths, right, it's time to get rid of one of your strikers. It's time to get rid of one of the strikers, we've got too many, we've got about four or five strikers now. One, two, three, four, five. Five strikers. His contract's running it next season, so I'll just let it run it. They're both the same age and the same rating. Snarby. Snarbenny. Srabenny, mate. Do you want to leave? Go back to Watford. You can leave or not. So we've got two English players. 
And then one guy I don't care about who can leave next season. Tyrese Campbell and then we'll train Rio Griffiths to be a backup. Which is fine with me. Avoid relegation, I'll try my absolute best to avoid relegation. Well Fiorentina sign Kanaki. Florentine are signing everyone. Turn on 50. Here's a 5 star 5 star scout back but he doesn't even bring anybody good. I've only been able to select one player out of the 7 or 8. When do we actually... <clears throat> so the orange bit at the bottom of the table is like relegation playoff so you need to put, so like if Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg and Werder Bremen were still at the bottom of the table whoever's 16th would need to verse off against Wolfsburg and Werder Bremen to see who, who <coughs> to see who goes down wait I've never actually seen a relegation playoff so I don't know whether you come up against Player, players for the second division of the German league or no? That's going to be a hard group for St Mirren to get out. How the hell are U UCD, like the shittest team in FIFA, how are they in Europa League? <laughs> well they're no, they're no going to last. I think it could be Sevilla and St Mirren going through. Traps on your spore. Let's go start Renee's enclosure. I hope Lazio and Stad Renee's go through because I don't want Celtic to go through. Why they give why they given us wait this isn't the last year, this was the start of this year. Well, unfortunately, we beat young boys. Kevin and Babu came up against his old team. When's the season actually fucking starting, man? Fuck, we're coming up against... Oh, no. On 28th of September, we're coming up against the best team in the league. According to some fans, because they always win it. <coughs> Before we do this, I need to get my best lineup up to verse by a Leverkusen. Is that my best lineup I've got there? I think it is. I'm gonna bring you fuck on at half time just to see if he scores. See if fatty you fuck can score any goals. <laughs> As we're coming up against Bayer Leverkusen, Chelsea celebrate your UEFA Super Cup. It's the only fucking trophy they're gonna win this season. I'm gonna give this my all this game. That kit's too bright, man. Sunmaker, well, I can see who made. Well, I can see why their kit's that bright. They're sponsored by Sunmaker. <laughs> Let's hear all the score lines. Verda Bremen v Dusseldorf, I think Verda Bremen would win that. Cologne v Wolfsburg, I think Cologne would win that. Freiburg mains, mains definitely in Dortmund for Augsburg. Well, Aug well, you can't say anything. You can't predict it because a few months ago Augsburg beat Bayern Munich <laughs> in real life. Augsburg are like one of the shittiest teams in the Bundesliga and they somehow managed to beat Bayern Munich. 2-1 like or whatever. Manuel Moyer Ma Manuel Neuer, who's that? Manuel Neuer must have been sleeping that game or something. 
He must have been closing his eyes. After months of speculation, oh, the deal is finally done, and we're just minutes away from seeing his debut. Can he live up to the hype? The fucking volume's too loud. <laughs> Do you mind turning your volume down a bit, wee man? Where's the commentary volume that isn't here? And it looks like I need to go into PlayStation settings and turn the volume down then. It's gonna make me fucking deaf. There we go. So let's see. Buyers lineup. Let's see Leverkusen's lineup, shall we? Herdeki, Bender, Ta and Tapsoba. Diaby, Arangis, Palacios, Bellarabi. Mertens, Voland and Huang He Chan. Why are they playing Mertens at like a left forward position? And then this is our lineup. Looks worse. <laughs> and this is the oh, the, the Bayer Leverkusen, Leverkusen Stadium actually looks good. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And usually at this time of year, everyone is smiling because it's opening day in the Bundesliga. It's Bayer Leverkusen, and they take on SC Paderborn. Well, thank you, Derek. Wait, I don't support Bayer Leverkusen, but I would like to come to this at the stadium game. just to see what the atmosphere is like. preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it, get the three points, move on to the next one. Look Looking at the difference to compared to Volland and Mertens. And so the Bayer Leverkusen team looks like this. Why are you like zooming this. into Volland's face? Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference, and it really is all about trying to put I the opposition we're going under to have pressure, against making sure Mertens that they don't compose the Abbey themselves. Here. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred Wait, are they two style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. Are those... It certainly benefits their so strikers. So They're very good at it. And introducing the visitors' line-up today. Oof. This particular setup is becoming Colin more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker. Vandalise Sarabri, Kapic, Roger, Campbell and Antwin. Here we go. First time ever using this team, so I don't know what to expect. Oh, fucking hell, Musa Diaby is outpacing everyone. And I could feel this is going to be one now. Straight off the bat. Not fantastic defending, let's see if it helps the opposition. And we how fast that go, really. are you? It's being closed down, breaking at pace. And we agile. And we agile. And Oop. he's broken free. He's got to score. You've oh, that that would have been one no if it wasn't for that we finally fucking. Attempt. Yeah, who needs a midfield when you can break like that? Superb pace, disappointing finish though. Like mate, you fucked me up scoring that. After months of speculation, the not, deal has been done, and what? today Dries Mertens so makes his debut. Take, take Lee, kicks. what do you think we might see from him? Well, it depends on the nerves, Derek. He'll need to focus, calm himself down. He's been brought in here to score goals, give the fans a goal, and he'll be off to a flying start with them for sure. Mertens. Mertens. Happy to take on the what I've seen. To keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Oh, the Kevin Volland. Well, the pass Mate, you, you're, away there. Mate, you're shite, you hit the post. I'll be happy That's if I win this, it'll be a great start to the season. They do like to press whenever they can. Well, you on do the, feel on the, the pressure they're putting pressure. on this team, a goal will come. They can't get much closer than that, can they? Has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Crossing possibilities. Danger averted. Oh, what are you doing? 
This feels like I'm watching an actual fucking Bundesliga match. No Sitting here after the ball. Feels like I'm actually the right in the Bayern Stadium watching stick. a game. Talking about Bayer Leverkusen, Rangers have their second leg game from against them because they are crazy. Which I hope we're going to win. Which will be an Ibrox, so we have the home advantage. If, and we're only one goal. We're only one goal down against them. We have the one away goal. So even if we make it 2-2, we still go through on away goals rule. I don't know how away goals work, but if it becomes 2-2, Rangers vs Bayer Leverkusen, then unfortunately Bayer, you'll be out, because we go through on away goals. Because we got a goal from George Edmondson in the first game. When we were up the stadium here. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. An important interception. So Edmondson were a wonderful header as well. Well he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And teammates to play it to. Speculative ball fired for the near post. A punch happy goalkeeper. Well, that feels like a Watching an actual Bundesliga. So tight game. this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave. Be a hero. Take chances. And that's an important intervention. So far, it's been a great game. Right, something's been happening in Dusseldorf. A goal has been scored there. Who scored it, Alan? It's a goal for Fortuna Dusseldorf. Thirty-nine minutes played. One-one. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Bremen and Dusseldorf are one. Well, the counter well, chance looks scored very for real. Dusseldorf is a decent one. Oh, why do you say? You rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, I want Tyrese Campbell to score so a goal in the Mertens. Arangis. And plenty of scope to be Last created in that wide position. position. Okay. I want to see where this team actually is. I want to see if they're in for. If they're still in the Bundesliga or if they're getting relegated. Bundesliga table. So our Paderborn's still in the Bundesliga. Nope, they're relegated so they're Gone back to Bundesliga 2, how did they even get in the fucking Bundesliga anyway? But Dusseldorf and Werder Bremen. Arangis. Dusseldorf and Werder Bremen are on the bottom as well. Not much time to make up his mind. Okay, well. Given away by Leverkusen. So I'll dare Rangers career mode after this game. So then I'll have two back to back career modes, which I'm going to do every day. I'm going to put Leon Balogun and Calvin Barsi and John McLaughlin on the team. Mason, what this? We have a guy called Fatty Youfuck. <laughs> really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Ah, Fatty Youfuck is on the ball. Over to Tyrese Campbell. Who do you want to say, my Rangers team? It's a second goal for Werder Bremen. 
Zelda Brennan 2 1 against the two ball. And they switch to an even higher gear. A key game in the Bundesliga coming up live here on EA TV. It's Bayer Leverkusen facing Fortuna Dusseldorf. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Not really the ideal clearance. So far, it's been all Leverkusen. But I'm happy it's still now, now. Spot on with that tackle. Come on. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Pass it down to him. Running with the ball confidently. And the counter attack really? came to nothing. On the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let try the to take the ball off and you get talking? And the offence <laughs> sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one. Right, but be careful book. now. Oh, Demir Bay's coming on for to go to the bench at this Bella stage Rabia, of the game. Abdelhamid Sabiri. Campbell. And the ball's gone. Free kick. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And the keeper grabbing oh, hold of free kick. <laughs> We can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a third goal for the home team. 64 minutes played. 3-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. A Freiburger beating Mainz. Well, here's a match coming up on EA TV. And I think oh, we're going to join us for. Yeah, it's very easy to That'll build a case for those two, two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. I just couldn't keep the ball. Mason from my Rangers can we more done gonna make uh, realistic signs like, Cause we're linked with Curtis Jones. We're linked with a lot of players for Liverpool. <laughs> well I don't know about you Derek, but look at those stats. I cannot believe they're not way out of sight with the creativity and the style of football they play. They should be winning this game easily. I want to know who Bayer Leverkusen would but he knew he had to get to the ball and he did. Shape team. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. They look as though Corner they want to make this move count. Score. He's lost it. Well, we've been wondering if this deal might go through. Now it has gone through. Vardy and good to Dortmund. news for Dortmund fans. Lee. Dortmund also well, Derek, everything. he had to move. <laughs> Football's a very short career. He deserves this one last payday. He's going to enjoy it as well. Top player. Options around him. Real chance. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Aranguiz. Well, it might still work try to make it one more. Oh, what a save for the goalkeeper. to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And a substitution in the offing. Bringing that guy on, I've never used him, so I don't know what he's like. But Jonathan Tarr's coming off, who's that? Is that Dragkovsky? Uh, uh, Dragovic. He looks completely different in game. Because in his now. picture he had Only long short hair. But in game he looks like Stefan Savic. And that was a very fine read. Arangis. Still on the attack as the black score sheet, but it's not for the ones of drive. No, it's a great game, Derek, isn't it? They've tried and tried and well, tried I'll take to break a, the I'll take a draw. That was a decent effort from the boy. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. It's with Lucas Salario. Delagabi. Read it superbly to take I'll take position. a draw. There we go. And the referee says that is all for today. Are you going to be watching my Rangers career mode, Mason? Dortmund beat Augsburg. Well, 
I'm happy with it. I'll take a draw. At least we didn't concede our score. Will you watch my videos? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Comment down below who you think I should sign. Over an eighth after that game. I'll take that. I've been news have been.